What's poppin' y'all? It's your girl Team Stacy, and I'm back with another YouTube video. And if you're new to my channel, hello, and I'm a subscriber. What's up? Only been a few hours, but it felt like days. Only been days, but it felt like months. Only gone for a year. Alrighty guys, so as you guys can see, this wig is very much giving. Today's video is sponsored by West Face. They did go ahead and send me this gorgeous bomb.com 28 inch 13 by 4 lace unit. And you guys see how I styled it. If you are interested in my thoughts on this wig and you want to see how we got this raw, easy style, definitely keep on watching. Alrighty guys, so this is what my packaging looks like, guys. FedEx beat my box up, but it's okay because the box is still super cute um so west face did go ahead and send me a wig cap some hair scrunchies some lashes a cute little pouch but this is the start of this show girl this is their 28 inch natural black 13 by 4 front so okay let me show you guys the knots look at the knots guys these knots are so tiny it's giving microscopic which is perfect because i didn't have enough time to bleach the knots but i did have enough time to pluck it off camera so this is the thick beauty that we're gonna throw on but before we throw her on let me show you guys how to get that bald cap balding okay so i like to take like the super thin sheer bald caps they're like the new ones um and then i just take my ruby kiss foundation which is in shade 09 and i rub that all over my cap and all over the front so this is just what's gonna give bald okay it's going to give balls and that's what you want so off camera didn't show you guys but i do it all the time i take my go spawn glue i was about to say got to be but i take my go spawn glue and i just you know put that on the perimeter of my head let it dry down and then i cut off the excess cap y'all this wig is so cute y'all i was so obsessed like yeah yeah get into it okay period i love me a classic wig like i feel like this wig is classic this is a wig that you could just throw on every day shout out to west face because yeah mm -hmm. so what i'm doing here is i'm taking my ghost bond glue again and i'm just putting it all on the perimeter of my head then i take a business card and we want the glue to be nice and flat if you're having a problem with your glue not drying clear it's probably because it's still it's too chunky so spread it out really really thin and that should help it dry down clear um i am doing two layers of glue and yeah i'm just spreading her out nice flat and thin okay spreading her all the way around and what I'm going to do, I want to bring you guys super close. I want to show you guys where I place my wigs. I place my wigs right in front of the bald cap. So where my natural hairline is, that's where I place the wigs hairline. And that's how it gives scalp. That's how it comes out of my scalp, okay? I grew this for 10 years. That's how I, get, I give that look, okay? So you don't want to hide too much forehead. You want that placement to just be right in front of your bald cap. And that's how you know your wig is just sitting right so i'm taking an elastic band and i'm tying it real tight okay real real tight but guess what you can take the pain because it's only going to be for 10 minutes okay so after it was on for 10 minutes took it off and now i'm just cutting off the excess lace you can cut off your excess lace with an eyebrow razor but lately i've been going for scissors i don't know this technique is like me doing my makeup sometimes i use a brush sometimes i use a beauty blender when it comes to my hair sometimes i use an eyebrow razor sometimes i use a scissor to cut out the lace it just depends on how i'm feeling and lately i've been feeling the scissors so it's just been working so i cut off the lace pretty close to the hairline um but any excess lace that's left over i'm going to show you guys how to melt that down how to make it disappear how to make it just you know just literally seep into the skin So what I do is I'm going to take my spritz and I'm going to spray my hairline, okay? The hairline was definitely missing on this part. Like, y'all, y'all could not see a hairline there, but on this side, you can see a little bit of lace. So with the spritz, you guys see, it just literally makes it disappear. But it's crucial that after you spray it down, you go back with your elastic band for another 10 minutes and then you're ready to go, okay? So what I'm doing here is we're going to do a quick style, okay? I took out too much hair but off camera i did take a little bit less hair out okay i actually did it on camera excuse me my bad okay it's been a long day but <laughs> this is what i wanted for my bangs um and then what i did here is i'm speeding up the clips because i didn't want the video to be too long but i promise you this is like the easiest hairstyle ever we're gonna take our hot comb we're gonna smooth the hairline back then we're gonna take out our sideburns as if we're gonna cut edges but we're not gonna cut them into edges so 
these are the three sections we have we have the two side birds and we have the middle portion okay after that i'm going to take my wax stick i hope this is making sense but you guys have the beautiful luxury of being able to replay this as much as you need to but i'm going to take my wax stick and i'm going to put that all on the front portion of my hair okay then i'm going to smooth my hair down with this hair iron now this flat this you see that pink that was on my hair that's because this hot comb is so hot it don't look hot in the video this hot comb is like literally 500 degrees this was laying on like a little like cloth and it melted the cloth that's what pink stuff you see on the hot comb it's literally that hot um but i'm just taking a little bit of shine just so i can keep the hair nice and glossy and get that salon touch this is an oil free shine um but yeah so after i hot combed everything now i'm just gonna section my hair and i'm just gonna take the top portion of my hair and literally just put this in a in a ponytail that is it we're literally just going to put the top portion in a tight ponytail this will probably be easier to do with somebody else helping you but i'm a very independent person i do everything on my own so this is how i'm doing it i take a little spray so i can really have a nice hold and i'm taking my rat tail comb and smoothing that ponytail down i want this to be perfect okay i don't want any hair out of place um after that i'm just going to take my hair tight and i'm going to tie it real tight i probably did like five to six wrap arounds five to six or i was not playing because i want this to be really tight really smooth okay so this is what we're looking like so with the part we could have kept the part like right in the middle but i'm going to show you guys what i did with the part here i'm just cutting my hair into an angle i'm not cutting too much hair but i really wanted it to be a little bit angled so we're cutting the two bangs in the front and the two bangs on the side then i'm taking the flat iron and i'm just bumping the ends I don't know i don't think i showed it on camera but with my part instead of just matching my middle part i kind of did a slanted part and you guys will be able to see it a little better but i just slanted the part very optional just being a little bit extra because if it's not extra it's not team stacy and that is on period yeah this hair is so bomb so this hair was naturally straight but i'm just taking a flat iron and passing it through one more time wasn't necessary because the hair was already bone straight but like i said i'm extra and i just wanted this hair to be perfect okay so last but not least i'm just taking a little bit of foundation and defining that slant part you guys see that the part was slanted but then the other part this one right here is straight back so yeah i'm just defining both of those parts with some foundation so after that i did my makeup off camera this hair is so thick it has such a beautiful luster this hair is so beautiful guys get this hair all right guys so that is the end of today's video in today's video i wanted to review and install and style this bomb wig that was sent to me by west face thank you so much to west face for sending me this wig this wig is chef's kiss guys this wig is so it was so raw and one thing i liked about it is today i'm in a rush so i wasn't able to bleach the knots but as you guys see it's still giving like this is a good wig girl i love this hair this is a 10 out of 10 for me no shedding look at that no tingling no shedding period so if you are interested in purchasing this unit definitely check my description box down below with some links and some promo codes if you haven't already subscribed to my channel for more content like this my channel is full of beauty related things like hair and makeup story times get ready with me vlogs all that good stuff so subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of me give this video a big thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys